Hey everybody, this is Big B's message coming at you live. Well, this is a video. I'm sorry, I'm gonna say live because I was just gonna do it live. But I'm coming to let y'all know that you know from now on I will be sitting on my bed until my thigh. I mean, to, until my hip heal. I had a knee surgery and it inflamed my left leg. The right knee got done, but it messed up the left leg. Lord Jesus, let me tell y'all something. Today is a blessed day for me, y'all. I mean, God woke me up, you know, and he been woke me up, and I praise him every day. But see, now, look, I know y'all know that I uh, love God once again, okay? I'm in my bedroom doing a video. Tonight, I'm going to do one. You know, I'm trying to catch up on my own stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I can be, you know, get my situation right. So, y'all, now check this out, right? Much stuff has been going on in my neighborhood. A lot of stuff has been going on in my city. I mean, hey, y'all, love on your loved ones. Let them know that you love them. Let them know that, hey, ain't nothing too too big for God. You know, break all the general, gen, uh, generation curses. Put, put your feet down and say, you know what? Whatever beef we had a long time ago, we ain't got to have it no more because there's too much going out out there in the world. When you come home, you should be at peace it's in your temple. You know what I'm saying? This is where you live at. You know, um, another thing too, y'all. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, you be holding in a lot of stuff. And you don't know how to let it out on who the person that you've been going through it with. Sometimes, you know what you got to do? Pray for them. And let them know that, hey, prayer works. And see, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I just came on here busting it. You know what I'm saying? All I got for right now is a banana and a half a burrito, but I'm going to probably do that on the video tonight. If not, I'm going to get a whole new meal. I don't know. But in the meanwhile, check this out. When you love yourself, can't nobody run up on you and tell you nothing that's going to hurt your self-esteem. When you love God first and most of all, let me tell you, that's the head of your life. And anybody that put you down for why, I mean, for, for who you are, they're not for you. Let me tell you something else. And I'm going to be real with this one, even realer. You know, you think sex keep a man? It don't. You think going down on that man keep a man? It don't. He just using every hole you got to get his even stronger. Getting his, you know what I'm saying? So I want all the women or even the men's that thinking that sex keep your man or your woman, it don't. You know what I'm saying? They turn you out and then they dog you. I want y'all to know this because I said it's going to be even deeper because I'm going deep this time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, you go stay with somebody. I'm, I'm just telling you everything. You go stay with somebody and they dog you out when you're in their house. I'm going to tell y'all something. It's best to have your own, and that's the person that's on the up and up with you and real at all times with you. And it's scary because we don't know who to trust these days. You know, but God showed me who I'm supposed to trust. I promise you, I only had one little out of look out of, and the other one was blind. But look at me now, y'all. I'm coming back whole again, and guess what? I'm not going to do none of the stuff I used to do on YouTube to make my body turn on me. And that's what happened. My body turned on me. Had my sugar all high. Had everything going wrong. You know, eat what you can eat. I'm going deep. Eat what you can eat. And save the rest for later or, or, or give it to somebody else to eat. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we try to glut and glut and glut and show, you know, it, this is what YouTube is about. If you're a mukbanger like me, you, they want you to, to glut and, and go overboard. And I don't mind, you know what I'm saying, if I can get my monetized and get on the float. But I learned a very valuable lesson. It's like I gave my soul to the devil. And the devil just loving me now. Seeing how much I'm consuming in my body. And it just took me a little bit to another direction, y'all. I mean, my shirt was so high, blood was coming in my eyes. I had to go have surgery to get all that stuff removed and clear my sight. I'm just telling you, I'm not saying don't do you. I'm just saying be careful when you do. You start caring about your body. Start doing whatever makes you to be whole again. You don't want, let me, let me put it like this. You don't want to be so full where you can't move. I know the food be good, y'all. I know gluttony, gluttony, gluttony. 
and, and you know, and showing everybody that you can eat this and you can bring this to the table. But right now, hey, I don't got it like that. But I'm trying to get it like that to where I can sit back and say, okay, I can uh, make a sandwich and some chips or drink a, a juice or, or a protein shake or something like that or eat a banana, you know what I'm saying, or eat a um, crackers and cheese, you know. I want to do all that. But let me tell y'all something. I want to be accepted by YouTube. So, you know, I'm, I'm not saying what I'm not, I don't want to do because I pray on my channel. I uh, eat on my channel. I do other stuff on my channel. I keep it 100 on my channel. You know what I'm saying? So now that I'm back, y'all, I don't want to have nothing to do with being fake. I don't want to have nothing to do with that no more. Anything that come out of my mouth, I want it to be real. Some fools will take you down. Some people will take you down when they see you making too much or doing too much for yourself. Jealousy is here, y'all. But you know what? They ain't jealous of God. Because God is the almighty. He's jealous for real. And that's why stuff happened. Look at me, y'all. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm 56 years old. Just had surgery. My eyes still bruised. You know what I'm saying? But I still look like B. I want to be B again, y'all. I don't want nobody to, to look at me and think, oh, hey, she fat. And she going to eat up some stuff. Because being that I'm big, I still don't eat like that. I eat a normal size plate, probably half of it. I don't want to be the fat girl on YouTube, glutton and eating everything. You know what I'm saying? I want to be normal. I want people to see my true identity as me. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get it twisted. Now, I love tacos now. I might eat like four of those, four tacos. Now, don't get it twisted. Now, I tear them tacos up and that uh, nacho, we can go there with it. But far as... Me getting in this trap that I'm in right now, knee replacement, too heavy knees, the, the, the cartilage that left my knees, my eyes, you know, when you're a diabetic, your eyes, um, you do the wrong things to your body, you know, the, your eyes will start bleeding and uh, everything will uh, crumble on you, you know what I'm saying? I learned my lesson this time I got sick, you know, the first time I got sick, I didn't have no support. I, I I got up out that bed with a, with a with a broke knee, stitches all up my knee, and my other leg messed up now. So I had to I had double jeopardy on me. Matter of fact, triple threat. My eye, my two legs, everything was going downhill, and I had to push it, and I had to push it, and I had to push it. I cried every single day that I had to push it. God said, you know what? Ain't no use you crying no more. You did it to yourself. Now this time you are gonna take time and you are gonna think about what you doing before you do it. You know. Either you want to live or you want to support people and let them see you just eating glut and just, just consume all this stuff when you know it ain't good for you. Some people, big people, ain't even got diabetes or high blood pressure or thyroid and cholesterol. Some big people ain't got that. They're young. But baby, let me tell you something, honey. In your older age, why do skinny, why do skinny people be fat when they get older? And I'm not talking about just size and all that kind of stuff. I'm just talking about your health. When health come come to play, you know, I thought I could never, it could never catch up with me. I was always big, but I thought being big was, was the stuff. I thought being big, hey, I could do every dance move. I can, hey, I can get it in. I can walk, and walk that walk, talk that talk. Until finally, them tears started rolling because I overdid it. You know, I probably would never be myself again as far as that go. You know, as far because my age is, I'm going up in age. Now I'm going to be 57. By the grace of God, March 26. Yeah. And I and I realized one thing, y'all. Let me tell y'all why I say this right here. Because I care about y'all. And I love y'all. I don't got to know y'all to love y'all. I'm going to show y'all in action. Because what I'm doing now is showing y'all action. And telling y'all, eat what you want to eat. But put it in moderation. You know, take your time. Take your time and, and eat what you can and put the rest up, baby. Don't sit back and, and, and you know, put everything in your body and then all of a sudden you're crying because, you know, your thyroids or your, your diabetes or your leg hurting and you don't know why it's hurting or your bowels ain't acting right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I wish I could walk a day in my shoes. Every day I'm in so much pain because of that hip. And I ain't never think that you can get an inflamed hip. I never thought of that because I had a knee surgery and 
I had to carry around for three years until I had to get the other one, you know, get it done again because it was done wrong. And my leg just was, you know, carrying that bad leg. And what happened was I didn't too much catch it until my leg started healing. Then that leg started flaming up. Then I realized, I said, oh, Lord, what is going on? I thought I was over that. I can't even sit on the toilet long. I can't even sit on a chair long. I can't do nothing long. I have to get up. I have to clean my system out some other type of way. I can't sit too long. I'm in my on my bed right now because I can't even sit up on a chair. Because yesterday I did a little bit, overdid it by sitting on a chair too long. And now, you know, my um, hip is hurting and inflamed real bad now. But to today and every day, y'all stay prayed up. Keep God on your, on your, over your head, around your body. Keep the devil under your feet. I'm telling y'all. It's it's a it's a big thing. It's a big thing. Trust me. I'm talking in, in scattered brain, but guess what? Y'all understand if you know what I mean about being sick, a diabetic, cholesterol high, thyroid messed up, the body parts ain't acting right. You barely your hand hurt for an apparent reason. Or you can't bend your finger. Or you you're limping while you walk. Or your heel hurt. You got spurs in your heel. I mean, it it, it it's a lot behind all that. Only thing I can tell y'all is this right here. In order to survive, you got to be strong. If you ain't strong, you ain't going to make it. So take care of your body. It'll take care of you. Make sure your body is on point. You wake up in the morning, thank God every day. Go to sleep, thank God for that. You have to put your boots on and you got to get to stepping. Walk. Walk. Let me see you walk. Hey, let me see you walk. I got a treadmill downstairs. I got a uh, little um, paddler, you know, for my knee surgery and for, try to get me back on point. I'm in so much pain, I can't walk on that. I can't walk on my leg, period. Period. Poo. Okay? All right, boo. I just want you all to know, baby, I'm coming on here real as ever now. You know, and um, later on, you know, I'm going to see can I get something to eat so that way I can do another video. And whatever I get, I'm going to try to, you know, because I, cause I don't hardly eat food like that no more. But I'm still a mukbanger, and I'm going to still set food up for the display. And I'm be eating all I could eat, putting it in my mouth. But then when I got to get full, I got to push it to the side. I don't want to hurt no more, y'all. I don't want to, you know, depend on people to carry me around either. Because this, this time, this surgery, and this everything, and I'm only being real. You know, my daughter uh, stepped up to the plate when she seen me when she seen me trying, cause I I practically gave up for a minute. Then I said, No, God didn't bring me this far to lead me. You know what I'm saying? God did not bring me this far to lead me. You know. And then my one of my sisters, uh, Brenda, want me to um, come down there where she at, cause you know she got a uh, she's at Serenity National. She um, you know, she got a house. She told me I can come and stay with her and get on my feet and make sure that, you know, we stay in our, our religion together. And me and just do a lot of stuff that for God, for the people. You know what I'm saying? But in order to survive, you got to be strong. And don't let no man or no woman come in your life and try to tell you that you can't make it. That you can't do it. And like I was saying earlier, sex ain't everything. No, it's not. And if you're trying to use somebody... You're only playing yourself because only the strong survive. That's why I say it's called survival. Yes. Get with the program, baby. Get with the program or you will be lost. I'm only keeping it real, y'all. 100, 1,000, period, poo. You know what I'm saying? I just know that I came a long way and it bring tears to my eyes, y'all, when I talk about it, but... You know, I got to accept the things I cannot change and the wisdom to know the difference. This is something I can't change. It happened. Now I got to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to do the same. I want y'all to move forward. If you've ever been in a bad relationship, if you've ever been homeless, if you've ever been hungry, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused. And ask God to show you the right path to go down. Because today... Mm -mm. People are for themselves. 
People are being, how you say it, jealous, envy, hateful. They come to kill, steal, destroy like the devil is if you stick around them. So with that being said, y'all, I need y'all to stay focused on your prayers. And the prayers is y'all. Yes, I'm serious. You know, I like having fun and laughing and having a good time when you're around me. And you will crack up when you be around me. But the journey I've just been on and what I'm still going through, I ain't sleep none last night. The pain was so excruciating, you know, I ain't sleep none last night. I just was like, oh, my God, somebody help me. And I was telling about somebody, and I should have been saying God. So I stayed up all night. I know once I get off this live right here, I mean, it's a um, video right here. I'm going to do one tonight about 7, maybe 7.30. I'm going to have a little food in front of me. But I'm going to tell y'all, I'm a leader. Never would I be a follower. I'm a leader. I used to get put down every day. Tell me I was retired. They tell me I ain't, I ain't mount to be in nothing in my own house. But now that I'm standing on my toes, I was a young girl when that was going on. Sometimes when I'm older, right now. But you know what? That's that's the man telling you that you can't make it. Because they know you can. And they jealous because you're doing your own thing. That's by your own music. I always was a fighter, you know what I'm saying? I, used to, I I always was a fighter, so I ain't let you get the best of me. So I always was, I'm a fighter to the day I leave this earth. But guess what? <laughs> that battle wasn't even mad. I still was out there slinging and bam, 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 fighting and everything. And now I'm in the fight of my life. You get it? I'm glad I didn't raise my kids up to be rough and tough in the Afro pubs. I'm glad I didn't do that. I let them grow up with time. People out here, um, you better kill them. You better knock them out. I mean, come on now. Teach your kid about God before you run them out there to get hurt. I'm just saying, y'all. I did a lot of thinking when I was laying in this bed sick and, and, and couldn't move and couldn't do nothing for myself. I did a lot of thinking. And I realized that now I'm in a battle for my life. I'm fighting hard to, to stay alive right now. You know, if God wants you, he going to take you, regardless of what I'm saying. I'm just saying, I, I used to fight 24-7 for, for other people. But who going to fight for me now? Nobody. God is holding me up, y'all. This is so much pain I'm having. I'm, 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 I should be laying down for about three more weeks. But I said, no, I just want to get up and, and fight back and go on my YouTube channel and see my other family. You know, promo STK. I miss you is good in the neighborhood. Adrian, Denise, you know what I'm saying? Heather. I mean, um, you know, it's just so many. I, you know, when I'm on here, I can't just name everybody. You know what I'm saying? Brad Nino, your loving wife, Honey Q, uh, my um, uh, Jill's Comfort Zone, Peace and love. I mean, it's just and uh, what's her name? Um, the 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 Denisha. You know what I'm saying? I mean, hey, it's a lot. Oh, it's good in the neighborhood. Um, Mama Dale, Pinky Dale. You know I love you, baby. And I mean, it's it's just so much. I can name a lot of more. You know, y'all know I care about y'all. I just want y'all to know that. And, and look at that right there. Guy, Jeff, Guy, Guy. I mean, come on now. It's a lot of us that I can name. And, and they love me just the same. It's just that. And I got a couple of new people on my channel. And, you know, like I said, y'all subscribe to my channel. You know, leave me some thumbs up, some comments. You know what I'm saying? I want to be monetized, you know, soon. Because I have definitely been on here a year and a month. You know, and had to get off for them. For, let me see, January, let me see, June, June, July, August, August, September, October, November, December. Wait a minute now. I might have been off longer than that. I might have been off four months. That's why I didn't get monetized because I went, I couldn't do nothing but sleep. And, you know, and deal with this pain I was under. But anyway, y'all, I love y'all. I truly do. Um, You know what? Let me see. I don't want to miss, I don't want to miss my, 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 uh, the ones that come on with Carmen and um, let me see who else I who else I probably missed out on. Don't forget about my Carmen, y'all know that, right? Um, let's see. I did, I said Honey Q. Um, truly don't want to miss out, you know. And and um, let me see. Mm, 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 mm. It was all on my live yesterday. 
I am so sorry, y'all. You know I'm thinking about you. You know I'm thinking about you. Just know that. You know I had to say it twice. <laughs> yes. And I realize that you can't depend on nobody to help you. You got to help yourself and ask God to show you the right way to go. If not, you are, you're going to be lost. Yeah, I was depending on people to help me, and it, and it didn't get it didn't happen. You know, you know, like I said, if it wasn't for God, you know, keeping me going, and everything going just fine. Guess what? It wouldn't have been nothing. So, like I said, y'all, in order to survive, you got to be strong, and make sure that you can be strong in His Word. Oh yes, you know I love God so much. You know, I love his son, Jesus. I love it all. I ain't giving up. You know, I'm in a battle for my life now. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking I'm out there fighting with everybody and and, and ducking and dodging and, and skipping and doing. And guess what? The same people I was trying to box, box everybody out for, I can't even call them for a drink of water. Can't help me. They won't, don't want to help me at all. My sister Bessie could step through sometime, you know. And show me some love. You know, my daughter, Garisha. I got three kids. I love them all. You know what I'm saying? But, and my grandbabies, you know. Wish I can see my other ones. But other than that, give credit where credit is due. I give all glory to God. That part. That part. Mm -hmm, my phone ringing, y'all. I don't want to even, hold on, y'all, for one minute. I want to stop it from ringing. Lord Jesus, I want to stop it from ringing. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me, y'all. Hello? No. I don't know. Listen, I'm doing a video right now, so I'll call you right back. Okay. Yeah, I got the herb and hang up on that. You know, I don't want to hear about nobody calling and talking and all that. Let me just let me just do this quick video because I'm getting ready to um get ready for prepare for tonight. I have to do another one, but I'm gonna have to be on my bed when I do that one too. I got a little table, little little box table, you know, a little little cardboard, you know, little, if I want to eat something, it'll be on my, it'll be right here, and I ain't gotta worry about painting and hurting. So, but anyway, as I was saying, love you. God is always available. In due time. You see what I'm saying? If you don't love you, who going to love you for you? You feel me? So, I, so at, with that being said, excuse me, if you're in a fight for your life, keep praying to God and asking God to show you the way out. Because when you're in a, when you're in a tight jam, it ain't nothing that you could do but pray and cry, cry and pray. God hear tears, see tears. You pray and ask God to show you the way out. Because right now, I ain't got room to play. <laughs> I ain't got room to lie and I ain't got room to hold nothing back. Because this pain that I'm under has got me so, so confused. <laughs> For real. And I want y'all to know that today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Don't argue with nobody. Don't, don't be jealous of nobody. Keep your spirit up. Get back to being who you supposed to be in life. And never stop dreaming. Never stop putting your words on whatever you got to do first. And your kids first. God is forever. Don't ever stop living your dreams. And I mean that. God is able. And I'm I'm this is Big B's message. I'm a mukbanger. Yes, I am. And I love it. But I just don't want to overeat ever again to please nobody. You're going to accept me or you're not going to accept me. I'm a mukbanger, y'all. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share, and even leave a comment. And some thumbs up. Because you just met the real B. <laughs> the real B. Big B. You just met her. Hey, come along for the ride. Come along for the ride. I'm coming back later on, but I tell you what, it's all up to God to, to, to see that through. I love you all with God's love. Okay, y'all? Peace out.